this video I'm going to introduce some advanced features that were introduced to Easy Mobile Site Generator in version 2 uh, for the mapping features that are built into Easy Mobile Site Generator. Now what we added was a latitude and longitude section. So you, you just put in your entries here, it'll be something like uh, 31.724, something like that, and maybe a minus sign here. Depending on what it is, two point something like that. You get these figures uh, for your particular location, and what this is useful for is locations where the actual street address doesn't appear on the map. Maybe it's something that's just been newly built, and this street hasn't been mapped properly by Google yet, or it's in a location where there isn't a uh, any streets sort of defined or anything, or maybe it's just a, a very, very large uh, location, very large lot, uh, lot, lot of land, and with a building in the middle of it where Google doesn't have a, uh, doesn't map the street name address to the, the sort of property, the, the house on the, the property. So with all of those, you can actually set the actual exact location that you want by setting the latitude and longitude in here. And they override this map location that we have here um, when setting the, the marker on the map. Now some extra settings that have been added are this map width. Um, what that does is it reduces the width of the map. Uh, if you don't put anything in there, if you leave it blank, then it will use 100% of the width of your uh, of the mobile phone when someone's using it. But if you put a percentage in, then what happens is, if I just come down and show you on the preview, at the moment we've got it set to 90%, and what then happens is you actually get a little area, the right hand side here, which allows people to scroll past, because once they put their finger on the map, um, Google takes complete control of the scrolling and everything then, and it's the actual map itself that scrolls rather than being able to scroll the page up and down. So we've introduced this percentage width so that you can make the, the map as wide or as narrow as you want to and leave a little area at the side where people can use their finger to scroll past. Okay, some other settings that we've put in extra on the map um, is the height. You can set the height of the map now. And another useful feature that we've done is we've added this option to display a GPS directions button and you can set the text that appears on that button. What that does is that if the user presses that instead of them having to enter their current location or enter an address where they want to get their directions from then it puts a button on the uh, telephone just below the map and when the user presses that it uses the current position of their telephone uh, uses the GPS in the telephone to work out their current location and produces directions to your map location from their current phone GPS location. So here's the text that I put in on this particular one here. If we go down here and look on the map, you'll see what I mean. So if I come down here, Here's the normal one. If they press that button, if they type in a location into this section here and press get directions, then whatever address they put in there is used to create the directions. If they click this button here, then it uses the GPS location of the phone. So it's the current place where they're at at that precise time and the directions are calculated from that point. So these features are only available in version 2 of Easy Mobile Site Generator. And they add quite a lot of useful functionality to the mapping functions of Easy Mobile Site Generator.